welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. I am Ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So of course I'm just coming in to start off this week's vlog and say hey girl hey and or hey boy hey. Hey. <laughs> but anyway y'all um I have to confess to you all that um, if you haven't already noticed this, um, and it's not just clothes, it's not just shoes, it certainly isn't just high-end items, but I, Ashley, um, aka Coco McQueen, am a shopaholic. <laughs> I'm a shopaholic, you guys. Like, literally, I'm noticing that, first of all, I'm addicted to receiving packages. I love to receive a package. Even if it's something from Amazon Prime, girl, it could be like um, a hair accessory. It could be like a lipstick. It could be like a mascara. I've always loved getting packages. Even when I was working in the office like years ago, I used to get my packages sent to the office. And I just, um, I'm just now realizing that after the pandemic and since the pandemic has started, I have now become even more addicted to receiving packages. It literally doesn't even matter what it is like it could be like some 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 printer paper and I thoroughly enjoy receiving packages like I'm trying to stop as much frivolous shopping as possible and let me like let me let me also say that again this isn't just like big stuff like this is literally anything I damn near shop exclusively a hundred percent online which I know a lot of you guys do as well. So that's why I can come to y'all and talk to y'all about this because I'm sure you can relate. But I, not only do I love to receive packages, not only do I like to shop no matter where it is, it can be at the Dollar Tree, it can be at Target, it can be at Walmart, it can be at Neiman Marcus, girl, it doesn't matter where it is. It can be at the Family Dollar, Couponi on a Saturday, getting a five for 25, like it could be, it could be anything. I love to get shit and I love to buy shit. And not only that, more importantly, I am obsessed with getting the best price and getting the absolute best discount possible for said shit. Like, so that's one thing. I have to give myself a little bit of a pat on the back and we're, oh girl, she's ashy. I have to give myself a little bit of a pat on the back for that because as y'all know, I've showed my shopping my couponing chronicles with you all i love to share um the deals that i get from time to time even like speaking of which even this pajama outfit y'all i got this from target it's gonna be in my my october favorites so i'm a little bit premature talking about this pajama set but when we went to homecoming pity and i we went to target because girl not only did i forget my cleanser which i didn't even buy at target that night I left my cleanser here in Atlanta. I also didn't bring any pajamas. So we went to Target to get like some pajamas and some last minute stuff and I still didn't get no cleanser. Girl, I had to wash my face with the soap in the hotel, the bar soap. And I'm still paying for it as you can see to this day. But anyway, got this pajama set then. And when I tell you I've been wearing it damn near every day afterwards and it's been two weeks now, I've watched it thoroughly quite a few times. But y'all, like I said, this is going to be in my uh, in my October favorites. I love this shit um, so much. I think there's a little bit of a, a, a toothpaste remnant from this morning. I say all I have to say, I was so excited that I got this for like 40% off. Like, it's not only the thrill of purchasing an item and again i know i'm preaching to the choir i know y'all are my people and y'all feel me it is not only purchasing an item getting a, a a package but it's also getting it for a discount getting it on sale finding a promo code paying 50 or plus more percent off on said item like so i have to commend myself or um say good job ashley for yeah you shop yeah, you like to get packages, but you at least get the best deal for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's a little bit of a justification. But anyway, y'all gonna see this video, this vlog is gonna be 
full of packages and shit. And it's not even major big shit. It's like Forever 21, etc. Y'all know I love Forever 21. I will always love Forever 21. I know I've skipped over three to five different points, but I say all of that to say that this vlog is gonna be full of packages and shit. This is me after I've been filming throughout the week, so I know what y'all are gonna see. And um, and yeah, I'm just telling you in advance that y'all should be used to it at this point. I'm not, you know, y'all should be used to it. And like I said, y'all are my people, so I know y'all getting packages damn near every single day too, because I know y'all asses. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I always, I keep saying to myself, you know, I want to go on a no buy, but how can I go on a no buy when I can get like a pair of sandals for like 80% off? Like, how can you resist getting like a major discount? I can't resist that shit. Like, there's nothing in me that can that can avoid pressing checkout. I was about to. <laughs> I keep seeing this Sade T-shirt on my Instagram feed like every day, like multiple times a day, and I love Sade. She's my uh, my birthday twin, and not only that, I love her music. I, like everybody loves her music. But girl, I keep seeing this Sade t-shirt like every other day. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and purchase that thing today. The only reason why I didn't get it is because I didn't have PayPal. And I did not, they didn't accept PayPal, the merchant. And I didn't feel like going to get my credit card out of my purse. That was the only thing that prevented me from purchasing this t-shirt. Now, am I still going to get the t-shirt? Most likely. And you know why I'm still going to get the t-shirt? Because when I was about to check out, I put in all my information and about an hour later, they sent me a 10% off promo code. And they offer free shipping. So I was already going to pay $34.99 for this t-shirt. But you're telling me now I can pay like $31? Is that what you're saying? I mean, come on now. <laughs> That's, again, putting the freaking pump in my back and telling me, buy this shit, girl. But uh, luckily, you know, it's not. I don't, I don't have this same addiction as it pertains to shopping at high-end stores or you know things like that so it's manageable but it's a whole recession looming out here in my opinion we already in a recession inflation is through the roof so i'm trying to be conservative i'm trying to do the right things i'm trying to uh put set um ex, uh what's it called i'm trying to put more savings into my high yield savings accounts because there's their interest not only are their interest rates high as it pertains to like mortgages and credit card rates it's also high for high yield savings accounts. So I'm trying to also allocate money for that versus shopping. But girl, the Sephora freaking VIB or Sephora sale is about to start. And I already have a card of like three, four hundred dollars worth of shit. Now that ain't nothing compared to some of y'all. I heard some people saying they got like eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars in they in a card. So I'm just saying that to say that I'm not as bad as I could be. However, and that's me restraining myself because in reality, I could add more shit and I'm sure I will. But with that being said, it's about to be holiday season. All of these sales, Black Friday is looming. The Sephora sale is looming. After that, the Zara sale is going to pop. Like, girl, how can we, when is this going to, and then after that, like, it's my birthday coming up. How can we stop? How can we stop? <sighs> so anyway, like I said, because you and I are the same, we need to find a self-help group. But you know what? Whatever's making us happy, we work in every we work hard every day. So let's play hard every day too. <laughs> as long as we are not, you know, uh, allocating funds that could be spent on bills and shit. But anyway, I decided to come and talk to my people about that shit because your girl, I even they had a freaking promo code on H and M today, twenty five percent off between the hours and twelve and five. I was like, what do I need? What's in my? Sh I already have shit in my cart waiting for a sale, girl. So let's go ahead and if there's a promo code to me, that is the green light. That is the reason to press checkout. At least I ain't buying shit for regular price. <laughs> but anyway, um, other than that, other than me showing y'all some of the shit that I purchased this week, the uh, content slash home decor slash uh, wall renovation, if you will, it's coming along quite well. I'm going to show you guys the progress as it pertains to that. I did purchase some um, some picture frames from Ikea. I put them up. They don't even have um, posters in them yet. And just to see how they were going to look on the wall. And they look exactly how I wanted them to look. So I'm excited about that. Also, um, this weekend I will be hosting a birthday brunch 
which I'm super excited about because I love to entertain, I love to cook, I like to feed people and shit. So um, I will be having a full brunch spread over here with very few uh, guests, maybe like four or five people. But I'm um, super excited about that. Of course, I will bring you guys with. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey or hey boy, hey, please, if you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell so we can do this again often. And with that being said, well, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. You guys, Alexa, Alexa, off, girl. Y'all, I don't know why I don't just turn Alexa off before I get on here and start talking to y'all. Do y'all see how dope that black on black is, though? Just. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, finally, my Zara denim jacket came. I don't know if I talked to y'all. I told y'all in last week's vlog that that uh, unusual gourmand perfume came. It was a part of a two-item package, but they split up the they split it up. So, anyway. The real reason why I placed that order was for this, baby, for this. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, you about to find out. <laughs> so this is the, I don't wanna, I don't necessarily wanna call it viral, but this is that Zara denim jacket. It's cropped, a little bit oversized, and it has like the, um, the moto, it's kind of moto style. It has these little, um, what do you call them? Straps or whatever, or like a belt, but it's like a separated belt. I don't know how to describe it. It's distressed. I love it. And I wanted it so bad. I initially ordered it in an extra large and the shipment got lost, girl. Or this is, y'all, yeah, yeah, I think I did tell y'all how FedEx, um, it was out for delivery for like two weeks, basically. And they couldn't find it or whatever. So they refunded my money. But the problem was they were sewed out of this jacket in, um, online. So anyway, I literally was going on that Hermes. I mean, <laughs> I'm saying Hermes because this reminds me of the Orans. I was going on the Zara app multiple times a day looking for this jacket. Initially, I ordered it in an extra large and my bestie was like, that's probably going to be too big because the jacket is already oversized. I was like, girl, I don't know. I just want the jacket. I didn't really give a damn what size it was in. So anyway, um, my order didn't go through. So it ended up, I ended up finding it again. My bestie called one day and was like, oh, it's on the app. Hurry up and order it. So I ordered it in a size large. Y'all, I'm going to try it on for y'all. I just tried it on and I'm going to show y'all what I look like right now. Because um, I just got out of the shower. $49.90. Y'all, this jacket is everything. Do you hear me? Everything. You know denim is like all the jazz right now. But oh my God, it is so freaking cute. Wait till I show y'all how this look on. It's blessing, just know. If you can find this online, it does go in and out of stock. Um, it's very popular. If you see it online or if you see it in a store, get it girl, you will not regret it. Again, I got it in a size large. It is slightly oversized or kind of oversized. Um, $49.90, it's everything. Like I said, I'm gonna do a whole try on for y'all. Just uh, give me a sec. So have y'all seen this in the store? It's like, it, first of all, it was on sale for BOGO. So you buy one, you get it for half off at Publix this week. So of course I was intrigued. Not only that, it, I had a 50% off coupon. So I paid like $2 for this cleaner. And y'all know this shit is like $5. Anyway, I say all I have to say, when I picked up the box, I was like, what the hell is going on? It feels so light, like where's the cleaner? Apparently, now they give you reusable bottles, which this bottle is small as hell, and it comes with this cleaner, and then you fill it up, citrus breeze scent, and then you fill it up with water. Have y'all seen that? Because I literally was like, what the hell? The bottle was so, the box was so light, but I love cleaning supplies, so I had to share that with y'all, but um, yeah, refillable uh, Lysol, very interesting concept. So, of course, I'm in Target. They literally just sent me a Target Circle 10 off $30 in-store coupon. Girl, maybe two hours ago and I'm already here. You know what it is. So, as I'm on the walkout at Target, I just noticed that they have some of the Laleen pants, which I wanted this pajama set so bad. And they have a medium. These feel like kind of windbreaker-ish though um and they don't have the top so it kind of defeats the purpose i think 
Yeah, they don't have the top. Somebody brought the pins back but kept the top. Like, what kind of shit is that? And they have, oh shit, y'all. There go the top. Hold on, let's see what size this is, girl. Cause it's a medium. Oh my goodness, I can't fit that. That shit looks small. Oh, I probably could do the medium. And uh, I don't think I could fit that. Damn. What well, damn? What well, damn? Okay, never mind. <laughs> they also have a few pieces from Kalana Brown's uh, part two, we'll call it. Future Collective Kalana Brown part two. Oh. I got some pieces. I don't have time to look at this shit, y'all. I really don't have time. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm about to pee on myself. Yeah. Yeah, Houston. Well, you know what? We already knew we had a problem. This ain't nothing new. <laughs> So of course I gotta show y'all what I picked up at Target. I got this garment rack, clothing rack, and it actually has wheels on it and everything. I'm really hoping I can put this together myself without the assistance of uh, um, the other species. But um, this clothing rack, I got it for, for one, is because I wanna start doing like try on hauls and stuff like that. Um, and I love when the girls pull their clothing rack out and they do the try on hauls. So anyway, the moral of the story is this was only $9 at Target. I was like super geeked about that. Y'all know I love a good deal. Um, also, like I told y'all, Target sent me that 10 off of 30 uh, promo yesterday in the Circle um, app. So I was super geeked. I went over there the same day. Um, for my clothing rack, I also picked up these velvet non-slip hangers. How many you get? Oh, you get 10. So that should be enough, hopefully. Maybe I'll get one more. But these were $8 and they were super cute. Uh, and but the 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 piece de resistance, y'all. First of all, y'all know I love acrylic, <laughs> clear acrylic. I picked, I saw this. I love a cake dome, and I always wanted one like a plastic, like a glass one. But they expensive, like they be like forty, fifty dollars, sixty. I didn't see them for more than that. Anyway, I saw this at Target yesterday, girl. I was so geeked, I had to get it. Um, it was only twelve ninety nine or eleven ninety nine. I think twelve ninety nine. Yeah. And it is so sturdy and it's so cute. Of course, it has this lid on it. Who is it by? Who is it by? Girl, just say Target Brands. But anyway, highly recommend it. I haven't used this yet, but I will be using it somehow, some way, in some capacity this weekend because, of course, like I told y'all, I'm hosting that birthday brunch. So uh, maybe we can fit the cake in there. I don't know. But I uh, just had to share because I'm obsessed with this. So here is my new clothing rack. You guys, $9, $9, a quick little $9 holo. <laughs> I wonder if it go up taller than that, no? So of course I gotta show you guys what I picked up at Ikea last night because I did run over there after I left Target. So like I told you guys, I'll be hosting a birthday brunch on this Saturday. So they have this really cute carafe. I think it was only like $4.99. But um, you know how they, when you go to brunch and shit, like they be giving you the mimosa or the juice in the carafe. So I just thought that was super cute. I needed some new silverware because for some reason, girl, I always misplace them. I don't know if the dishwasher, and I don't even use a dishwasher. I use a dishwasher to just dry dishes. I don't know if it'd be eating it, <laughs> eating my silverware, but always in uh in the market for some new silverware. I know these are not the cutest, but they were only like five ninety nine for like a set of sixteen, so you can't beat that. IKEA, bruh, all the all all the all the great deals, obviously. Um, I got these plates, of course. These are those. 99 cent plates but they are better than eating on uh paper plates because i try not to do that there's nothing necessarily classy about paper plates however i get it like i completely get it like nobody wants to wash dishes so but anyway these were cheaper than some good ass paper plates girl these were 99 cent so even if you want to toss them like a paper plate go ahead and do so ma'am um also so i got four of those and I got this white serving bowl, and this was like $2.49. So it's pretty big. 
So I was going to pick up these big white square plates at Target, but they were $4. They were like super heavy, so it's like some good plates. But um, $4 a plate compared to $1 a plate, yeah, that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree girl. And then like I said, this is only $2.49, so Ikea for the win. I also got some new... Oh, I also got... Let me show y'all. I got these picture frames because, of course, I just got my uh, wall painted. So I'm about to get some new pictures. And this is the biggest frame that they have at Ikea. So I'll be getting, like, some poster prints and putting those on the black wall, girl. You know, it's going to be some do some uh, black and white art. But anyway, Ikea for the win. Two of these big-ass picture frames and all of those plates and all that shit, girl. And it wasn't bad. I think it was about 60 something dollars But you cannot beat that place for the shit so of course i reordered the essentials football t-shirt in a what size is this because that other one was so stupid big but you know and this is one is like i told y'all before but these run so stupid big like it's crazy let's see i think this is a medium but girl the way this shit run I just should have got a small, but I'm about to try it on and see what it looks like. Um, I think this is a medium. I'm pretty confident. Girl, yep, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to be down with the Essentials Tribe and be a cool kid, you know? But the size and be crazy. I don't know. Have you had the same experience? If you have Essentials, what size do you get, girl? And or boy. So next package, Forever 21. I know a lot of the girls do not shop here anymore, but you know, to me, they be having some good sometimes. For example, this um, bodysuit. Um, this this is like a brown cami bodysuit. I'll take all this stuff out of the package to show y'all, but this stuff be like four or five dollars, or maybe something like that. Um, workout clothes which i typically wear damn near the same thing to the gym every day and this is what i'm excited about i hope it fits of course i'm about to show y'all i know it's giving oh my god what is that spice girl <laughs> but hopefully it's cute you know sometimes we gotta go for something a little edgy let's see how she works so let me show you what i love and appreciate about about nordstrom um, this is just the jacket that I got during anniversary sale that I actually, that went for $10 off. I told y'all about this in last week's vlog, but anyway, it was $10 cheaper than what I paid. So I took it back and I reordered it because I'm that girl. Um, anyway, this is what I appreciate about them. Look at this. As soon as you open it, that thing is already hung up. Like, I'm not familiar with the girls doing that sort of thing, but I appreciate the, um, the detail. Like, she's already hung up. Thank you, girl. For a $50 jacket. <laughs> Y'all already seen this, but of course, I will show you in my little try-on haul. So... These are the items that I just unboxed today. Of course, y'all have seen all of these things with the exception of this loud ass jacket. So with that being said, now we have the clothing rack and we can properly show you the items, girl. So anyway, the Essentials t-shirt, I did reorder it. It's the Essentials football t-shirt. I did reorder it in a size medium and it fits really well it's still oversized but it's like the perfect oversize of course y'all will see it here shortly in the try on haul so there's that also of course you already seen me going crazy over the the cropped and you've seen all the girls going crazy over the cropped zara denim jacket with the little straps obsessed y'all gonna see this a lot and what's crazy is I'm not even a denim girl. And I know everybody hasn't been a denim girl in a long time because it just, it's crazy how things come back in. Like I always say, my auntie, like my auntie always says, girl, all the trends return, even from back in the day, girl. It's all a cycle with fashion. Nothing is new, essentially. Um, there's that. And then there. <laughs> There is this loud girl. It's giving Spice Girl. It's giving, um, 
it's giving Puff Daddy and Mace. I've been around the world. I've been, been, been. Um, so it's giving that. She's extremely loud, but it was Forever 21, y'all. And it was $30 on sale, maybe $31, something like that. So with that being said, I was like, you know what? Let me try this out and see what it's giving. And it's giving loud, but it's like, I almost want to just try it out and just give it a go and see what it's, you know, we'll see. It's more yellow showing up on this video than it is. It's more of a like extremely highlighter neon yellow, <laughs> but it's cute. And for the, for the price, like I said, $30, it's, uh, yeah, it's not so bad. So, like I said, it is Forever 21. I don't know why the focus is doing what it's doing right now. Okay, so this was another part of that Forever 21 package. They be having a really good deal. So, I want to say this outfit, which it's unlikely that I'll be working out with, is probably under my Wu-Tang t-shirt. Um, however, each piece was like $10 or $9.00. So this is like this camo, and of course, you know, camo is all the rage right now, girl. This is this camo, and it's really good quality. I need to try it on, but it's given, girl, look at that quality. It's given like Hervé Leger. Look. It's given Hervé, girl. It's given PCBG. It's giving, um, we'll see um, if your girl can fit it, but it's supposed to be seamless. And of course, the leggings, there are some high-rise leggings, which I love. Everything high-waist is seamless. And um, I think they were $10 as well. So, yeah, very cute Forever 21 for the win. Like, you can't tell me shit about Forever 21. Like, and then also this, like I showed you guys in that plastic, this chocolate brown bodysuit, which I be wearing like under some dresses that don't require like spanks so anyway chocolate brown i want to say it was like four or five dollars maybe it was less than ten dollars that's for sure on sale so i have this in like this color now this chocolate brown i also have it in black in two different sizes and i have it in like tan in two different sizes too but i love these they're super comfy too so um so yeah that it concludes my forever 21 pieces in addition to that lime green jacket which y'all gonna have to tell me if i should keep it or not <laughs> so pulling up on these guys in search of at least one more apple pumpkin dw home candle because i just need it it's been giving me what i need that dog is killing me but that's not why we're here i'm here really to tell you guys that these shoes right here these are the New Balance 990s. They are the absolute most comfortable shoe that I've, um, in America. I highly recommend them. Uh, it's looking quite light. <laughs> they don't have anything. Hopefully, sometimes you can luck up and get something good at checkout. But yeah, this thing, this thing is light. The girl's been in here. <laughs> you know how we do. We come in here and we smell candles. <laughs> so, Weathered Spice by Sand and Fog. It's given. It's given mahogany teak wood. It's given mahogany teak wood. It's not horrible. I don't hate it. Espresso by Sand and Fog. Definitely is given espresso like a chocolate espresso. Mm, that ain't bad. But I really want an apple punk. Is that what it's called? Apple pumpkin? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Apple orchard. Oh, this kind of kind of what is it? I don't hate it. Okay. I don't hate it. And that's apple orchard. Apple 
Apple Spice Latte. Okay, so now I have a... She's getting nothing. <laughs> she's getting sweet, but she's giving nothing. Let's go one more. Pumpkin Chai Latte. It burns for 75 hours. Too damn sweet. Ay, ay, ay. The, the candle chronicles. So, TJ Maxx always be having the bomb ass pant pots. This look almost identical to the one that I already had. But she's so cute. Let's see what's the price on her. Oh, y'all tripping. She ain't worth no damn $50. <laughs> it's going to be a no for me, dog. So, I don't need to pick up anything else, but they have Blank NYC, which is um, the same brand of that black leather jacket I got from Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And I, oh, actually, this looks super cheap. Oh, but I really want a nude moto jacket with gold zippers, and this is like perfect, but this is like rose gold. Good price. We're going to try it on anyway. The jacket. It's given it's given small. It's given young girl. She's young. <laughs> She's too young. So this is what I just picked up at TJ Maxx. I have been out of this for a couple of months, so I needed it. And you get this big ass one for like ten dollars. So I definitely picked that up. Um also picked up this Avion facial spray. I used to get this back in the day when I was like an undergrad. And this is the big bottle for $7.99. $7 so can't beat that. Also picked up some new oils for my diffuser. I don't know what Yuzu is, but obviously we know what lemon and grapefruit are. Um, something tells me this grapefruit is going to smell really amazing. And you got all three of those for $5.99. Can't beat that. Lastly, I picked up this black fig candle from Sand and Fog. Smells really good. It's really subtle and soft, but it smells really good. So I'll be burning this tomorrow uh, for the brunch. And speaking of the brunch, I also went to the liquor store, or we call it the L up north, and I picked up a bottle of this Cava Sparkling uh, Rose, Prosecco Rose, because we'll be, um, we're, there will be other bottles brought by other people, but I just wanted to have an extra to get started, girl, before the folks arrive. So yeah, so those are my quick pickups after work. I'm about to sit down and watch the Ready to Love reunion and have a nightcap. Yes, ma'am. So you guys, this is the start. Well, actually, I'm almost done cooking. Um, I'm only expecting like four people. So um, let me show you what I have so far. So I have the creamy grits here. I also have the honey butter biscuits and chicken sausage. I have some sauteed turkey sausage, like turkey smoked sausage with peppers and onions. I have shrimp, some red Argentine shrimp. So those are gonna be for the people who wanna eat shrimp with their grits. Um, and then of course I'm gonna be making some salmon croquettes. So I have all of my ingredients here for that. So um, I'm not gonna cook those. And then I'm also gonna make some scrambled eggs with cheese. So I'll show you guys the full menu once I'm done. Unfortunately, <laughs> the cake, let me show you guys the cake. This is the cake from Publix. It's a red velvet cake. Um, with like buttercream icing, of course. And, um, and yeah, so that is the vibe for this birthday brunch, and I'll show you my plate once I'm done. Okay, here's an update. I just was really thirsty to use this acrylic <laughs> cake dome from Target that I showed you guys the other day. Those are the chicken sausages and the honey butter biscuits. Everyone is late, <laughs> so um, everything's getting cold. Um, you already seen the turkey sausages. I did make the shrimp to just go over some grits if some somebody wants them. And I did them in like a cream sauce. And you can of course add them to the turkey sausage. Let me also show you guys 
what I did for the cake. I put it on this little TV tray with the plates and the forks, and then I got some little balloons from the Dollar Tree, of course, girl. I don't know why my camera is so blurry right now, but that's all I got, child. That's all I got. Oh, let me also show you guys. So I, these are the picture frames, and I'm sorry that the camera is blurry. Hold on, let me um, let me refocus this. So that's better. So I'm burning the end of my apple pumpkin candle, y'all. I don't have any more, and I did not find any at TJ Maxx yesterday. So I'm gonna be on a hunt. I'm sorry the TV is so damn loud. Let me turn this thing off. But anyway, <laughs> I know this looks crazy because I have just blank. Um, look at my my uh, my auntie said when I sent her a video of the plant. She said, "Girl, spread them leaves out." <laughs> so I had to spread them leaves out, girl. And I think I want to put some cuts in them to make them look a little bit more um, natural. I got that tip from Sharika B. I got this whole idea from Sharika B, actually. But anyway, just put these, um, this candle smells so damn good. <laughs> just put these picture frames up. I have that old um, little thing over there in the corner, but I'm going to replace it with a full body mirror. Um, these picture frames are perfect. These are the largest ones from Ikea, and they. I'm just going to do two. I was thinking about doing... I think I'm gonna do another coat of black paint, number one, because that's only one coat of paint. Um, and I was thinking about just doing like maybe four pictures, but I'm just gonna uh, stick with the two. Now I just have to determine which posters, and I know they're not leveled. I already know that I'm gonna get that fixed. <laughs> and um, I just had to show y'all this is a pro this is a project, and it's in process. So I will keep you guys abreast of um, all all the deets. But anyway, you know I had to share because y'all are people. But I'm ready to cut this damn cake, and I don't even like red velvet, girl. had a red velvet cake um if you know Publix is known for having like the best cake as far as like a bakery in Atlanta but y'all this red velvet cake is bomb as hell it's all moist <laughs> and look what we did to it <laughs> we did some things to it bro we did some things let's just say everyone enjoyed their food <laughs> so I'm not one for Halloween direction decorations but this is so cute off Croc Street Hey you guys, uh, I'm gonna just come in real quick and end off this week's vlog before I forget because you know how I do. Well, y'all don't know how I do because I try not to do that. <laughs> and or I'll show you my computer screen as I'm uploading the vlog. So that is not the goal. So um, this evening was super fun. Um, all, all the vibes, of course, y'all saw the, the alcohol and whatnot. And this one right here, of course, she's going to get in where she fits in all the time at this point. What is this, like your fifth appearance or yep. something like that? So apparently this is a dual vlog. Um, so it's going to be Coco McQueen starring Pretty Pennies, apparently. So um, anyway, uh, the weather is amazing. So who knows what the night will bring. But most likely I will be taking my Dorothy um, slash Blanche ass to bed um, here shortly. But anyway, if you made it to the end of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, of course. And I will see you girls and guys in the next vlog.